Jack Holiday. I felt like I was going to sing for a second. What's up, everybody? Never mind. Uh, how's everybody doing? I have a show on YouTube. It's called Holiday What TV. I celebrate holidays every day. So please subscribe. Thank you very much. For example, May is National Posture Month. Yes. Take a look at your neighbors. See who has a good posture. Ready? Chest out. Shoulders down, chin straight ahead. All right, no, your posture's not working for me. Come on, sit up straight. That's good, okay, that's better. Um, tomorrow, tomorrow is no pants day. Yes! Yes! This is celebrated the first Friday of May every year, and first Friday in downtown Vegas is tomorrow too. I'm going, not wearing any pants. Who else is going tomorrow wearing no pants? So today, May 1st, is also National School Principals Day. Can anyone name any of your school principals from your past? If you can, shout it out. Chalmers. That's not bad. Anybody else? Are you, are you, like, are you having a hard time remembering them? Because all I can remember is like elementary school. What does that say? Is that weird? Can you, can you name a school principal you've had? You know, I don't think I can. You can't, can you? No. Crazy. Definitely not. <laughs> so May is National Business Image Improvement Month. This is a holiday, I feel, that is all about these two here. Are you guys seeing a lot of ego? A lot of ego happening here. We got entertainment and growth opportunities. These two ladies partners for two years. They've sponsored the podcast two times before. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And, and if they weren't busy enough, he's like the Ryan Seacrest here of downtown Vegas. Uh, they're co-curating Creative Week right now. How sweet is that? So I want to hear a little bit about how Creative fell into the laps and how has it been going? Creative Week has been amazing. You know, we brought together 40 amazing entrepreneurs and amazing entertainers, brought them together to combine them with all the creative energy and the crazy creative leaders that we already have here in our community. It's been an amazing Creative Catalyst Week. Nice, now your business, one would think that entrepreneurs and athletes and entertainers don't need the same people to help them grow, but you say no. Yeah, you know, I am amazed. You know, I really think that the same characteristics, that undying optimism, that belief in yourself, that determination that it really takes to be successful and believe that you can actually be a successful entertainer is a lot of the same type of gumption that's required for successful entrepreneurs. So I find there's a lot in common and you know we really love working with both and helping people to do what they're put on this planet to do. Amazing. Now you both have different skill sets and you bring different things to the team. Nina, for example, you are a public speaking coach, helping right. your clients to hone in on their storytelling abilities. And guess what? Today is, by the way, May 1st is Executive Coaching Day. Oh my God, a holiday that's all about <laughs> Nina. So uh, tell me a little bit about how you became and why you're, you're, you're a coach and, and your varied client list I hear about. Yes, so I fell in love with public speaking when the power of somebody else's story pulled me out of, out of a really dark place in my life. And I personally believe that everybody has a unique gift. And that gift is your personal journey in life. And I feel that I was put on this earth to help people cultivate that and find that, to help people inspire the world. And it originally started my love for communications. Um, I have a marketing background, but I was terrified of public speaking. And people don't realize the fear of public speaking holds you back in life. So I am beyond passionate to help shyer, you know, like, like me, I'm introverted, shyer, introverted people help share their unique journeys. And my client list has been amazing from public speakers to startup entrepreneurs to inventors. Inventors? Oh my God, it's <laughs> National Inventors Month. Did you know that? <laughs> it really is. It's true. What? Yeah. I, I, any inventors here in the house tonight? Any inventors? Yeah, right here. Yeah, what do you do back there? What are you inventing? I invent software. You do? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. I, heard, I saw your hand go up. Hardware. Hardware. Oh. And then Dan, Dan, way in the back, I hear you're inventing some pickle juice things. Pickle juice. <laughs> Yes. Yes. yes! 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 Pickle juice stuff, very exciting. All right, moving back on to this. Um, so Krista, you specialize in the consulting aspect of things. Why don't you expound? Sure, you know, I have always been that small town girl who walked fast, talked fast, thought fast, won a ton of fast growth awards and led a really crazy life as an entrepreneur. So I really wanted to help other entrepreneurs so they never felt alone in their crazy wild roller coaster that you have to go through to be successful as an entrepreneur. 
Your voice is very sexy and raspy tonight. <laughs> yes, yes, I sound like I should be singing in a jazz bar. It's been a really fun, creative week for That's us. That's amazing. Well, thank you so much yes. for being here. Thank Happy you. holidays. Thanks this was fun. Us. Have a good night.